improvise with the Wisconsin Havarti Fondue. Brings me back to childhood memories. You know, my parents would have these big kind of block parties. They'd always make a fondue. People would, everybody would get in, dip, have some fun. And to me, Havarti is the perfect cheese to use for it. It's soft, it's creamy, it has a natural acid to it. It works really perfectly in a fondue. So the steaks come off the grill, we let them rest. These are beautiful aged ribeyes. Now, look at this Havarti. This is beautiful. This is a double cream Havarti. My two favorite words in the English language. Double cream. How good is that? Mm. It's creamy, it's buttery, a little bit acidic, and now we're gonna start building the fondue. I start with shallots and garlic and a little bit of oil in the pan, then I'm gonna add my vinegar, reduce that, cream, and then the cheese. So, pan gets hot. Little bit of olive oil, we're gonna let that oil get hot. Minced shallots and minced garlic. Chop them up. And in they go. We're just gonna let them sweat. They're not gonna caramelize, they're just gonna become a little bit translucent, very aromatic, and that's what we're looking for. So we're just gonna smash the garlic and just run your knife through real quick. Now as soon as we get the garlic and the shell in there, we're gonna add that pinch of salt. This is what brings out the flavor, brings out their natural sweetness, and that's what you're looking for when you cook. If we put the salt in at the end, we end up with salty food. If we salt as we go, we end up with food that's really full flavored. Now, to that, a little bit of white wine vinegar. I'm gonna reduce this by half, just kind of enough to cover the shallots and the garlic. As that's reducing, I'm gonna grate the cheese. Now, this is soft, supple cheese, look. So it melts great. You know, Havarti is a, a classic Danish cheese, but when they started making it in Wisconsin, they developed this great technique that makes it a little bit firmer and more creamy. It's like the win-win situation. And you burn off enough calories grating the cheese that you're allowed to eat as much as you want. Vinegar is just about reduced. Now I'm gonna add some heavy cream to that. Just a good heavy cream. Pop the top, in it goes. And then we reduce the cream by half. You wanna check for your seasonings now. So, when you don't have a spoon, you have 10 fingers, so you're good there. It's gonna need a little pinch of salt, little bit of cracked black pepper. Just keep an eye on it, but we let it rip. It's gonna reduce by half, it's gonna get even creamier, even more luscious, more delicious. And then when we add that Havarti to it, whoop, right over the top. For me, a, a chef that really promotes farm to table, there's, there's not a better example, farm to table, than Wisconsin cheese. It's in the Midwest, it's right essentially in my backyard, in my Midwestern backyard. All right, so look at this, our double cream is reduced. Double cream, double cream cheese, it's a daily double. In it goes. Oh boy. Creamy, rich, delicious. Cheese makes me so happy. Oh, hello. Look at that. That's what a fondue is all about, people. I have some freshly grated horseradish here. If you can't find freshly grated, you could get some prepared horseradish too. This looks like a lot of horseradish. It's about a cup and a half but the fondue is so rich and so creamy that this is just gonna cut through and give you a little bit of kick, a little bit of heat right at the end. Oh. Now, last thing I need to do is that staying warm is I have some fresh chives here. As fine as you could get them. If you wanna make a, a fondue with Havarti and jalapeno, they have a Havarti and jalapeno cheese. They have one with caraway. They have one with horseradish and chives. So you could just melt it into that double cream and you got a party. This goes in our pot. Oh boy, look at that. One good stir. Look at that. Now, Iron Chef hands. Oh. Use a towel at home. The ribeyes have rested for about five, 10 minutes. Let those juices go back inside. And we're just gonna start whacking up the pieces. And then we just cut them up. Grab your ribeye with the Havarti. Look at that, it just coats the steak and in we go. Mm. 
the richness of the ribeye, that creamy Wisconsin Havarti cheese, and then you get a little bit of that acid horseradish and chive at the end. Flip it around so you could double dip. Delicious.